Hey there, Geometry. Coming to you guys with a new week, um, some new energy, some hopefully some new availability time. Um, you should be able to read some of those details in an announcement I made. Uh, make sure that I'm going to be kind of more available for you, my students, who I love and care about, um, really, so that we can do our best to honor and glorify God, because that's what matters here. So we are changing my event or I am changing my availability to later in the afternoon from about 12 to 5 p.m. and um, that's kind of what's going on there we're gonna dive into some review so this um, next couple of lessons are gonna be just kind of reviewing um, stuff that we learned a while back in geometry to help get us ready for the end of the year so We've gone through a lot of the material that the textbook offers for us. We've done a lot of the things that we're going to do. And my goal now is to help refresh your memory about things that you might have forgotten from the beginning of the year when I was an even worse teacher than I am now. So um, hopefully it's a little bit better. Hopefully it's clearer. And my goal is that you would be prepared for everything that our tests at the end of the semester has to bring. Um, and I was trying to get some of this review in that way you would be ready for the standardized testing Though I don't know that that's probably gonna happen now at this point, but again, this is kind of what we're talking through We're talking through points lines and planes and you remember that's from chapter one We're talking through some things that have to do with points lines and planes here in this um, week of lessons, okay, so Let's go right ahead we're going to review how to identify points, lines, and planes. So, here in geometry, points, lines, and planes are what we call undefined terms, okay? But I'm going to do my best to identify them for you, all right? Um, so, here we go. <clears throat> a point is a location, neither shape nor size. Um, just one individual point like a nail in a wall, okay? A line is made up of an infinite number of points, has no thickness or width. There's exactly one line, one line through two points. So you got to have two points to make a line at least. And uh, it's made, it doesn't have any thickness, no, no real measurement other than distance between two separate points. We'll talk about that later. A plane is a flat surface made up of points that extends infinitely in all directions. So there's exactly one plane through any three points not on the same line. So we didn't really talk about this much whenever we were talking about volume of spheres. There was a whole area in the geometry that we could have talked about. Um, talks about, uh, we, we talk about planar geometry so it's in a plane it's in a flat surface kind of that idea well for the most part that's what we talk about but there's actually a form of geometry that discusses um it's like universal or planetary geometry it's it's around a sphere it's all kind of based on circles and it's really great for doing measurements in space and between planets and things like that it's a something that rocket scientists use so we didn't really get into that too much, um, but there is a whole nother branch of geometry that deals specifically with that. Some changed rules, some changed formulas tweaked because of obviously different planes, different surfaces to talk about. But today and what we talk about, what we have talked about in this class is just the planes. So those flat surfaces that extend in all directions infinitely. Okay. So that's kind of the idea for some of these. Um, I'm sure you guys do remember some of this as I, you know, first few lessons, some of you probably thought like, man, this is gonna be a really long year if we gotta deal with this guy the whole time. Um, you know, I, I really hope that this is a little bit more clear. Um, I'm pretty sure most of us understand this, but we're gonna go over it just really quickly. Some examples of naming these undefined terms, okay? Points. All the points right here, you guys can see all these little dots and the letters that go with them. Those are points. It's just one point on a plane of existence, all right? One small dot. 
x, y, w, r, and z. So points, it's like a small point in time. It'll be like this, you know, quarantine. It's just one little moment in your life. Don't worry, it's just passing, okay? It's not gonna be the whole plane of existence of your life. It's just one small point of it, okay? It shall pass, all right? So we've got these points here. I have pointed them out, all right? So these points here, those are the points X, Y, W, R, and Z. Those are our points. So that's how they're named with these letters, normally a capital letter. That's how it's named, okay? We put a definition on these terms, these undefined terms, by giving them a name. So we don't really define them, we just specify which undefined term we're talking about. So if we're talking about lines here, lines, all right, these lines are right here, right here, and right here. So let me back this up just a little bit. So you can see these are the lines, obviously it extends through two points, and extends infinitely. This one right here is showing that it's going through the plane, okay, from top to bottom, going through, just like you guys might have remember. I stabbed that piece of um, paper with the pencil, and it just went right through, went all the way through. That's kind of the idea of this line, all right? <clears throat> Lines are named or defined by two points or a lowercase letter with a line. So a line, not just a line segment, we're talking about a full line here is defined by two points. It could be line M, or let's start with this. This line right here could be line YW or line N, it, this lowercase n. Either way, that's how we would name it. Or WY, that's okay too. All right, then this line here could be line L, that little cursive sort of italicized L, or it could be line RZ or line ZR, you guys remember that. And then this line right here could be line XY, could be line XR, YR, RY, RX, or just line M, this little italicized M, all right? Finally, we've got planes, planes. So plane, is this whole yellow thing. So it's this whole big square, kind of imagine a piece of paper or a wall in your room, something like that. That's what a plane is. We name it by a big capital letter that is italicized. This is plane B, or you can name it using three points that are not in a line. So you can't name it plane X, Y, R, because it could also be a line that doesn't really define it, but you could name it plane Y, W, R. That would name it. You can't name it line X or plane X, W, Z, because Z is not in that plane. It is actually beneath it. I know it's kind of hard to see. 3D doesn't work too well in 2D papers and computers, but um, that is what it's showing there, okay? So here we go. I want you guys to look at the image we have here for us. I want us to identify all the points, all the lines, all the planes, okay? So this is what I want you to do. Um, this is gonna be part of, you know, what's gonna be expected for you to know whenever we get to the tests and quizzes, um, especially your um, semester exam. I kinda want you to know all of this, so be able to identify points, lines, and planes. All right, points. So go ahead, take a moment, see if you can point out all the points. All right, hopefully you maybe paused and you know put a little marker on each of them. You were able to identify each point. They should be pretty obvious, noted by capital letters. We've got A, B, C, D, so I'll kind of go with them. A, B, C, point D is up here. E, F, just kind of following the alphabet here. G, H, there's no point I because capital I can be mistaken for 
lowercase l, so they just skip i, you got point l, m, and point p over here, okay? All right, what about lines? Lines, what lines do you see here and can you name them, okay? Take a moment, see if you can write down all the names of the lines you see here. All right, hopefully you've done that. And what we've got here is line BC, or it could be called something else. We'll talk about that. Line CE, this line right here. Line HL, and line N, okay? Line N doesn't have two points in it, so it can only be named by this line N, just like that I have right there, that italicized N. Okay, line HL could also be line Q, could be line LH. Hmm, did I forget any of them here? No, I didn't. So just wanted to get you to double check. So this line DM, okay? This one goes through both planes here. Could also be line MD. It also includes point H here. So it could be line DH, line MH, line HM, line HD. Okay. Then we've got line CE. Could be also line T. Oh, I forgot with DM. It could also be line P here. Okay. We've got line T, which is also line CE or EC. And then we've got BC, which could also be BF or FC or FB or just line M, okay? All right, planes. See if you can name the plane a few different ways. Each plane, they're pretty obvious, but see if you can name them a different way by three points that are not in a line. Okay, I've simply given you line R, or I'm sorry, plane R and plane Q. Plane R and plane Q. All right, so those are both the planes here. You could also name them um, plane B, E, F, A, B, E, something like that. That plane has a bunch of different options. It could be down here instead of plane Q. It could be plane G, P, H, or um, L, H, G, LPG, you know, something like that. That could be the plane name, okay? So that is it for our lesson. Hopefully that refreshed your memory on how to identify points, lines, and planes, and that's our goal for today. If you have questions, be sure to let me know. Um, you can contact me at my work phone during my availability hours. So be sure to do that. I love you guys. Go and have a great day.